Marvel Studios made a lot of noise at this past Comic-Con. The studio's executive producer Kevin Feige gave fans a complete list of the fifth phase of the film universe releases, and lifted the veil of mystery with the six. Thanks to this, we learned that there are two big crossovers waiting for us in the new saga called the Multiverse Saga, namely Avengers Kong Destiny and Avengers Secret Wars. Hi, this is the Non-Spoiler channel, and in this video we're gathering for you everything we know so far about the upcoming two Avengers team films from Marvel, namely the Avengers Con Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. Of course, right now we can only guess what exactly lies ahead. But one thing we do know is that these two films will be the conclusion of what we are told about in Phase 4, 5 and 6, which have been called the Multiverse Saga, and it began with the series Loki, Spider-Man, No Way Home and Doctor Strange, The Multiverse of Madness. In the finale of the story, we will see a crossover of truly multiverse mashups. The studio promises that the number of characters that we will see on screen will be much larger than in the Avengers Endgame. The full cast has not yet been disclosed, but we won't see the films until three years from now either, so maybe the studio is still in negotiations with the actors. But the name of one of the celebrities who will participate in the shooting we know. Kevin Feige said that the main villain of the saga will be Khan the Conqueror. He will be embodied on screen by actor Jonathan Majors, and this time-traveling super genius will be a real problem not only for the Avengers. It is possible that we will see his different versions on the screen, and we will have a lot of them in the comics. We were already introduced to one of these versions in the finale of the Loki series. There he referred to himself as the one who stays. It was this brilliant scientist from the distant future who once discovered the multiverse. He began to seek out alternate versions of himself and share his knowledge and technology with them. But unfortunately, some of them were not very friendly, which eventually led to a bloody war that almost destroyed the multiverse. In order to prevent a complete collapse, whoever remains had to unite the multiverse into a holy timeline and destroy all of his rivals. But Loki and Sylvia's actions led to the return of the multiverse, and with it, many Kangs. We are introduced to another version of the Khan in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, played by the same Jonathan Majors. Other versions of Khan we would see in the sequel Loki, and probably in the rest of the studio's projects as well. Perhaps individual superheroes will face off against different versions of Khan the Conqueror, making him a more dangerous opponent for the Empties, and force Earth's greatest heroes to reunite their forces, now against the multiverse's evil. The culmination of this will be the Khan Dynasty and Secret War. The Khan Dynasty takes its name from the 16-part Avenger comic book series of 2001. In this story, Khan and his son Marcus return to the 21st century to enslave humanity. The Avengers team, at the cost of huge sacrifices, still manages to stop them. It may be that something like this we will see in the fifth film about the Avengers. And the actions of this version of Khan will lead to the multiverse collapse and the emergence of Battle World, which in return will set the stage for the events of Secret Wars. Such destruction of worlds in the Marvel Universe is called an invasion. The Illuminati told us about them in detail in the Doctor Strange sequel. This is what happens when one person's travels in alternative branches lead to an imbalance, and the consequent destruction of worlds. So we can only imagine the mess that multiple versions of Khan can make. And the scene after the credits in which Cleo comes to Doctor Strange suggests that such invasions will be a real headache for the superheroes. Notably, in the Secret Wars comics, although Khan was involved, he did not play a key role there but we remember Marvel's love to depart from canon and take several different stories as the basis for their films. And perhaps here, too, they will not change their habits. Directed by Avengers Khan Dynasty is already familiar from the film Shang-Chi, Legend of the Ten Rings, Destin Daniel Cretton. But who will take the director's chair of Secret Wars is not known yet. At one time, the Russo brothers expressed interest in the story, and they said that they would like to film the Secret Wars arc in particular. All the more so, the experience of combining many characters into one harmonious story. These guys have Avengers the Endgame Solution is an excellent confirmation of that. But unfortunately, it is likely due to the fact that the directors are busy with other projects, especially since they have to develop their new film universe for Netflix, the first film of which was Greyman. But it's not out of the question that the Russo brothers will act as producers of the six Avengers. As for the final film of the Multiverse saga itself, we can say that we will see even more characters here than in Avengers Endgame. 
The plot will be based on one of the Marvel's best-selling comic book series in decades, 1984's Superhero Secret Wars. Despite scathing reviews from critics and huge inconsistencies, it has garnered tremendous love among fans. Secret Wars received a reimagining in 2015. This series begins with the total collapse of the Marvel cartoon universe. A series of invasions finally destroyed all universes, leading to one shared world of battle, which consists of fragments of alternative realities. This world is ruled by a god Emperor Doom. Here he wields limitless power and might. He has gathered all the superheroes from the multiverse and arranges death matches between them. It is promised that we will see Doctor Doom in the scene after the credits of the Black Panther sequel. And a full-fledged appearance of this villain is more likely we'll see in the Fantastic Four reboot. It's possible that in the movie series the ruler of Latveria will repeat his comic book fate and become a kind of deity. Therefore, contrary to the assurances of Kevin Fake, Ken may not be the main villain of the sixth phase. And all of his statements are all for diversion, which would last to pull the intrigue and surprise people in cinemas as much as possible. The movie about the Fantastic Four will start the sixth phase of the cinematic universe and complete it with Secret Wars. In the comics, it was Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards was able to rebuild the animated universe and bring it back to its original state. So it is possible that the Fantastic Four will play a crucial role in resolving the conflict of the multiverse saga. It's also possible that the restoration of the multiverse won't come without consequences, which the superheroes will deal with in the films of the next phases. And the Marvels will only play this outcome to their advantage. It would allow the studio to make a smoother launch of many story arcs, which would be as logical as possible to avoid self-replication, and continue to hold the audience's attention. Also thanks to this, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe we will be able to fully present the mutants and the team of X-Men, the appearance of which fans around the world are eagerly awaiting. Two new Avengers movies are scheduled for release in 2025, Khan Dynasty in May and Secret Wars in November. The half-year window tells us that the two stories will be directly connected, just as Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. But at the same time, such a short time frame has alarmed the fan community. Everyone has a question. Would the studio be able to prepare properly and please all the viewers, as it was with Infinity Saga? Do you think Marvel would be able to adapt the stories? And who will be the main villain of the multiverse saga? Can the Conqueror or Doctor Doom? Post your thoughts in the comments. Well, we'll continue to follow the news, because we are sure that the studio has saved all the major news and releases for the upcoming D20 Expo in September. They still have Deadpool 3, Shang-Chi sequel and Spider-Man 4 in development. It's really interesting to see how many more projects will directly touch the multiverse and which superheroes we will also see in the final multiverse saga. Don't forget to subscribe to our non-spoiler channel and like this video. Bye-bye, everyone!